Michael Billy. I'm a civil rights activist. When I was 14 years old, uh, I was walking along the front of the high school that I was uh, attending, and 12 guys came behind me, and first one of them grabbed my book bag and threw it on the floor and uh, said, are you the F word uh, for gay people? Uh, and then he was joined by his other friends who then punched and kicked and held me down and uh, kept accusing me and asking me, are you this gay person? Are you, are you the F word? Are you the F word? And I couldn't even tell myself. They, uh, at my school, there was a fence that separated the uh, field from the school. So they propped me up against the fence and they took my arms and they pinned me up against this fence uh, and they took their shots, and they kicked, and they punched, and finally they dropped me to the ground. They grabbed a garbage can, dragged it over to where my body was, tried to lift me up and throw me in the garbage can, chanting, throw this F word down the stadium stairs. Afterwards, uh, I tried to kill myself, and I went through depression, and uh, for two years I was in and out of hospitalizations and uh, going through mental health and therapy. I had to come out to my parents at the same time. It was a hate crime at the same time. So there's lots of different levels of, of things going on for a very young child to, to deal with. Once I came out of the medication that I was on, um, I realized that I had a choice. Either I was going to kill myself, be depressed for the rest of my life, or possibly uh, stop what happened to me from happening to somebody else. And uh, that became my way of life. I, I, I didn't have a ton of friends. I didn't have a lot of, there was a lot of social issues because of what I experienced. So uh, I only had really myself and, and I thought if I could keep telling the story or keep talking to people, perhaps I could prevent what had happened to me. It got me through much of my adult life, to be honest with you. And what you realize is people will experience pain. People will hurt. People will feel anguish. Uh, it's just a matter of helping them understand what to do with that pain and helping them understand that that pain isn't existent for the rest of their lives, that you don't have to carry it with yourself till the end of, of life or for eternity, and that it's something that we can let go. It's something that we can identify and, and separate ourselves from so we can grow and move on. You know, I spent the early part of my years trying to prevent bullying. You can't prevent bullying. There's no dark without light. There's no negative without positive. It's existent. That's who we are. It's what we do with the information uh, that I think is, is more helpful for people. I learned that we must see ourselves in each other. That a lot of this angst comes from the difference between you and I in human conditions, religion, ethnicity, where you grew up, how much money, how much money I don't have or you have. And uh, those are human aspects. But us uh, spiritually is what connects us. When you're across the room and I know you're upset, uh, that's a connection that we have. When you're in a rally and people are charged with this energy for change, that's what connects us. And when you see each other in ourselves, uh, then you don't judge people and say they deserve this or he deserves this more than that. You can see the heart in each other. There's no difference between you and I. That's really the only thing that you need to know. We all have our individual stories, but the through line is uh, ascension, evolution, moving forward, growth is the through line. Seeing yourself in, in other people and coming out of, uh, of, of a, an experience that you once judged as negative but hadn't it been for that, you would not be here telling your story. That often the thing that you experience that you have judged as the worst thing that's ever happened in my life is the best thing that's ever happened in your life. Your greatest spiritual teachers are the people and the situations that have hurt you the most. That before you came here, Someone made a deal with you to say, look, this is going to be terrible. But if you don't live through this, you won't grow and move on to the next level that you're supposed to. You won't be that soaring 
persona, angel that you need to be. You have to go through this adversity. So you may look at it as, mm, why me, why me? But instead of things that you look at that have happened to you, understand that everything has happened for you.